modern but very valuable. 1994 Lincoln and Sentin Mint State 64 red and brown condition. Grade is not that high, so what makes it highly sought after among penny collectors then? The key here is the lettering on reverse, uh, the letters A and M of America to be exact. They are too close to each other, almost touching. Lincoln Sense specialists are aware that the proof dies during much of the 1990s and the 2000s differed in design from business strikes. The distance between the feet of the AM in America is a pickup point, as is the distance between the FG initials and the memorial. One diaper intended for production in 1993 was inadvertently used for the Denver strikes in 1992, and due to the high attrition rate of modern scents, only a few examples have been located. This is lustrous orange gold near gem with minimal carbon and the look of a finer grade. It was sold for $20,700 at heritage auctions. Here is 1966 Jefferson nickel and mean state 65 with full steps. In spite of massive number of nickels struck in 1966, very few qualify for full steps. Fewer than 1 in 150 coins are estimated to have this degree of definition on reverse. The light golden surfaces display silky satin-like mint luster and are free of major abrasions. It ended up selling for $11,750 at heritage auctions. Moving on with his 1935S Lincoln Scent in Mint State 67 red condition, tied for finest graded by PCGS, with fewer than 30 examples of the date, called MS67 red as here. This satiny and vivid superb gem is bursting with lovely reddish orange luster, boldly if not sharply struck throughout, and expectably smooth at the assigned grade level, this penny with charming eye appeal ended up selling for $12,650 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1936D Washington Quarter in Mint State 67 Plus. Most certified Mint State examples range in grade from MS62 to MS65. MS66 examples are scarce and the date is condition rarity at the MS67 level. George's satiny surfaces of present piece are satellite by strong cartwheel luster and light pastel tones on both sides. Visually impressive and technically outstanding. It was sold for $8,812.50 at Stax Bowers auction. Next, 1970s Nickel, graded in Mint State 66 with full steps by PCGS. Considering the nine-figure mintage produced during this period, the 1970s Jefferson Nickel is surprisingly scarce in full steps. This premium gem is tied with 10 other as the finest full steps example at PCGS. Sold for $6,462.50 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 2008 John Quincy Adams presidential dollar struck on a nickel planchet highly elusive error coin in Mint State 67. Over the years, the US Mint has continued to improve quality control and therefore very few striking errors leave the Mint today. The present coin is believed to be unique for the issue, though this error has been reported a couple of times for other types of presidential dollars. The small planchet was nicely positioned to allow for the full portrait of Adams and just enough also legend to identify him. It was sold for $8,812.50 at Stax Bowers auction. And this is 1990D Roosevelt Diamond Mint State 66 with full bands. The MS66 full bands designation is given to coins that are in mint state condition, which means they are in uncirculated and pristine condition. The full bands designation refer to the clarity and depth of horizontal bands on reverse side of a coin that encircles the torch. To qualify for this designation, the coin must have a full, uninterrupted set of bands on reverse side. The MS66 full bands designation is considered to be high grade for 1990D Roosevelt time, and coins with this designation are highly sought after by collectors. This particular specimen was sold for $2,925 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't hesitate to smash like, subscribe, and share buttons.